Hi, this is Denise Matthew, and today I'm going to make a crystal point ring. So I'm working with about a 20 gauge wire. You can go up to a size 20, two, um, but I wouldn't go much uh, lighter than that, and you can go down to a size 18. That's your choice. I have about two feet of wire, and I would suggest that you err on the side of caution that you have more wire than, than you need, um, because you're going to need it to wrap around your crystal and so forth. Now, in order to make the ring, you're just going to go one size smaller than you want. So for instance, if I wanted to make a size 7 ring, I'm going to go to the size 6. Okay, and I'm just going to center the wire on. And um, so I have equal lengths on both sides. And I've just wrapped it around once. And then I'm just going to go right around, right around like that. And bring them to the center like that. That's what I would have so far. Okay. Now what you're going to do is take your wires and bring one up and one down. So it's like a bit of a twist. Okay. So that's what you would have so far. Now that you've done that, you're going to start to I'm going to hold that in place, and you're just going to start to wrap around um, in opposite directions. So I'm going to take that wire and go up and this one is going to go down. And you want the wires to go side by side, so parallel kind of. So up, and then I'm just going to take the next one and just kind of start to, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to make um, a base for the ring. So that's what you would have so far. And then just go again. And you'll, you'll notice sort of like um, a little bit of a swirl forming in the center. So just continue to work around. And what you're doing is you're just laying the wire alongside the wire that you've already done. You're not going over it, you're going beside it. Okay, so you're going beside it like this. And then continue on. And just make sure that you leave enough leeway. You want to leave probably about three to four inches of wire on both sides so that you have enough wire to wrap around your um, your crystal. Okay, so I think I'm done for now. So you can see that it's sort of a little bit high here. So what you're going to do is just flatten out that base. So you're just going to take your hammer and flatten it out. And that's what I would have right now. So then just slide it off. So then just slide it off and then just take one wire, hold it in place, support that because you don't really have any support for your ring yet. And just, you're just going to put one wire around the base and that's going to keep them together, give you a little bit more stability. All right, and then go to the next one, next side. Do the exact same thing. All right, and this is what you would have. Okay, now you can wrap around once or twice there. It's really whatever you want to do. It doesn't really make a difference. Okay, so now that that's done, you're going to position your, your crystal that way. Now, if you um, want and you have time, you could take like an E6000 glue or a, a very strong bonding glue, put a drop here. I've heard a, a Mod Podge dimensional, um, I think it's called dimensional... Uh, glitter or something like that can work really well too. Basically just put a drop on and then just glue it on there and this will make it a little bit easier for you to maneuver when you're trying to wire wrap it. It also will give an added stability so it's going to stay in place perfectly. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it without the glue but it's a suggestion that um, somebody told me about. So what you're going to do, it doesn't matter what side you're going to start with, I'm going to start with this side. You're just going to bring it right up and around your crystal. Okay. So just make sure it's quite nice and taut because you really want to have that crystal stay in place. Okay, so that would be one side. Okay, now it slid off the base, so just make sure it slides back on and center it again. And this is why the, the glue would be extremely helpful for you. Okay, now I'm just going to wrap around the base again. The 
Before I do that, I'm just going to pull it nice and taut with my, my pliers, my chain nose pliers. Make sure it's straight. And then just guide the wire right through the base. And you're just going to wrap it once or twice. Actually, just wrap it until you don't have any more. But just make sure when you're wrapping, you want to do even wraps on both sides. So I'm just going to partially wrap it on one side, and then I'll finish it after I wrap the other side. Okay, so that's what you have so far. And I'm still holding it in place because it's not quite stable yet. So next thing you're going to do is just do the exact same thing on the other end. So just nice and tight. You're just going to want to pull it as taut as you can. So this is what you would have. And then just start to wrap the ends, the tails in there. So that's probably enough for me. I'm just going to trim that back. And you see I have a little excess, but again, it's better to have excess rather than have it too short. And then you can't wrap it properly. So that's that. And then on the other side, I'm just going to have three wraps on one side. I'm just going to do one more, two more here. And then just trim it back, tuck all the wires in. Slide it right back on your mandrel, and you're going to do it like you would normally do it. Just slide it on, and I have a size 6, and I want it to be a size 7, so I'm just going to size it up. So I'm going to hammer and then start to push it down. Oh, I took it up one size. Just slide that off and then that would be your completed ring. So this concludes the tutorial. Hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.